Hey guys, what's going on? Chris from Madhouse Gamers here. Now in this video we're going to be previewing Crisis 3. We're going to be letting you know everything there is to know about the game, ranging from the story, multiplayer, weapons and much more. Keep in mind all this info plus more is available on the Crisis 3 wiki located on our website, so check it out, link in the description. And finally, if you do go into enjoying this video, remember to smash that thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe for future videos. Now, with all that said, here's your exclusive look at Crisis 3. Invaded our world. Even me. Crisis 3, the sequel to the popular first person sci fi shooters Crisis and Crisis 2, was officially announced in April last year by EA and that it had been in the making by developers at Crytek Studio. The game will feature a brand new single player mode and a revamped multiplayer mode with all new maps and game modes. Powered by Crytek's newest version of CryEngine 3, the same engine that powered Crisis 2, Crisis 3 will deliver one of the most amazing visual and audio experiences to date. Crisis 3 will be out on the PlayStation 3, Xbox 360 and PC on February 19th in the US and February the 21st in Europe and Australia. Crisis 3 takes place in New York City in the year 2047, where players will take the role of Prophet, an enhanced super soldier equipped with a nano suit that allows him to easily defeat waves of enemies. New York City has been encased in a giant nanodome created by Cell that has isolated New York City's thick vegetation, overgrown trees, dense swamplands and raging rivers from the rest of the world. Before the dome was erected into place, citizens were told it would serve to protect the city's population from the Seth invasion. But really, it was all part of Cell's plan for global domination. In Crisis 3, Prophet is said to be on a mission of revenge. Your job is to save mankind against human and alien forces in the challenging and ever-varying environments of the New York City Nanodome. Hardware extraction is a go. Bring it home. Some Crisis 3 characters include Prophet, who has had previously major roles in Crisis and Crisis 2, Psycho, third ranking member of the Raptor team, Cell, also known as Crynet Enforcement and Local Logistics, who are a private military organization, and the Ceph, well, which are your enemies and are a massive army of advanced aliens. Crisis 3 comes packed in with a revamped multiplayer mode that features 8 different gameplay modes, all new maps and tons of new weaponry. One of the new modes being added into the game known as Hunter allows you to step into the shoes of either a Hunter or a Cell Trooper. Playing as a Hunter you'll be tasked with stalking and exterminating all of the Cell Troopers. When playing the role of the Trooper, your objective is to try and survive long enough to be rescued by the EVAC team. Crisis 3's multiplayer allows for 6v6 on consoles and 8v8 on PC. Crisis 3 Open Multiplayer Beta is currently running on the PlayStation 3, Xbox 360 and PC for players wanting to get an early experience with the game's multiplayer. Two maps and two game modes are available in the beta and the beta ends on February 12th, 2013. Now onto some of the weapons, we do have an extensive list of all the weapons you'll find in the game over on the wiki on our site, so check the full list there. So instead of me boring you now, I'll only list a few. We've got the SCAR, a fully automatic sight rifle, the Ferlin, a lightweight SMG, the Marshall, a pump action shotgun, the Ceph Plasma, which is basically a big ass launcher, and the Compound Bow, probably the game's most anticipated weapon. Hear that? Must be nothing. Damn it, where'd he go? Disabled. Locate the overrides and shut this thing down. There's no time. That's my power. Well, I don't know about you, but I call that fucking flawless. 
Powered by CryEngine 3, Crysis 3 delivers visually stunning graphics and a varied sandbox gameplay experience unmatched by any other first-person shooter out there. After the release of Crysis 2, developers began to receive some criticism from PC gamers because of the design sacrifices made to the PC due to the limitations of the older version of console's hardware. In response to this, Crytek CEO stated that the PC version of Crysis will melt down PCs due to its high image quality. No DLC announcements have yet been made for the game, but we'll be sure to update you once that information becomes available. The following retailers are offering the following special editions of the game. Origin is allowing you to pre-order two different editions, the Hunter Edition and the Digital Deluxe Edition. GameStop in the US is offering the Hunter Edition of the game and a bonus Stalker Pack, which includes some weapons and camo and dog tags. And EB Games in Australia is offering the Hunter Edition of Crisis 3 that also includes a bonus copy of the original Crisis. Also, for all you PC players wanting to play Crisis 3, over on our wiki we have the game's minimum, recommended and high performance PC system requirements. So if you're wondering how your PC will run Crisis 3, check it out there. And finally, some of our thoughts of the game so far. So we've been playing around with the Crisis 3 open multiplayer beta, and I've got to say it's a ton of fun. With all the new weapons and the really cool maps, I'm really loving the airport map. Uh, that's one of the maps available in the beta. So, so far the multiplayer is looking real good for Crisis 3. And also a couple months ago we were lucky enough to get some hands on with the single player of Crisis 3. And I've got to admit that was also great. The story is looking out to be pretty awesome. So if you are a fan of the Crisis franchise, I'll definitely be picking up Crisis 3. So, are you going to be picking up Crisis 3 on release? Let us know. For more information on Crisis 3 and much more, stay tuned to this channel. Also be sure to follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Links are in the description. Peace.